Tina from TNN Radio. I'm here with Mr. Dax Riggs. <laughs> um, I guess the first thing that surprised me about you when I started researching you and looking at your past interviews is your voice naturally is so much more soft-spoken and sort of a higher pitch than the your singing voice in most of your songs. <laughs> um, so I'm wondering, is that your natural singing voice, or is that something you kind of push yourself to do because you like it better? I don't know. I mean, I think it's kind of easy. I mean, that's that's about where I should be singing. Yeah. Uh, Is it because of the music that you grew up liking, like the kind of deeper, raspier, folkier? Um, certainly. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You kind of emulate that, or yeah. it's just where your range sounds the best? Well, I've been mm -hmm. trying to have a more soulful sound for a long time, so mm -hmm. it's just a natural progression. Yeah. yeah. Time, so. um, and before I was researching you, I also thought that you're just this really depressing dude from Louisiana, like <laughs> those really dark songs, you know, and you're always attached with Louisiana, but then when I started seeing you talk and answer more and more questions, it seemed like that you were actually quite happy and quite spiritual and I was surprised. Are most people surprised if they get to know you in person versus just through your music? I think so. Yeah? Yeah. Is that something you do on purpose or is the music just... No, not on <laughs> purpose. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm kind of happy when yeah. you're around people. Yes. Yeah. You know, and not to say that I'm unhappy when I'm not, but there's certainly reasons that I sing this kind of stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. More when you're alone? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm definitely a happy person and a, a spiritual person, but... Uh, and you lived in Austin now for a while? Yeah, I lived there for a while, but I uh, moved back to Louisiana. Oh, you did? Just about a year ago. I was wondering how the move to Austin influenced your music. A lot. I mean, there's so many great people from there and just different things going on there. You know, I got turned on to so much music yeah. living there. There's a ton of music there. Just rubbing elbows with the people who live there and know the history of that. It's a great city and the, the music that has come from there has been incredible. You know, from Doug Song, Sir Douglas Quartet, Rocky Erickson. He just mentioned Rocky Erickson in the car, actually, <laughs> we were Jerry, on our way up here. <laughs> Jerry Jeff Walker, a lot of the outlaw, you know, towns, you know, there's all these wonderful things. Yeah. Do you miss it now that you've left? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is there some food there in Texas oh, that you really got into? <laughs> yeah. Like what? I uh, saw the taco stands. I mean, it's like an art form, kind of whole society. Yeah. On um, itself, kind of. Um, was the barbecue good? Yeah, yeah. Not as good as the South, maybe? Well, maybe I'm just not a big barbecue person, okay. but yeah. Um. Why do you consider a song to be like a magic spell? Because it's like a meditation, and it, it moves other thoughts away from your mind, and like other symbols and things, it pushes them into your mind, and, and there's a certain amount of time where you're just focused on this thing. Like a melody or words, or, so I look at it, you know, that's why I think it, it is because, like, it could become, like, a spell is nothing but, like, saying that something could be true, mm -hmm. you know, and once you say it, then it's more possible yeah. for it to be true, so a song, you know, is kind of like that, too, it's like a prayer, it's something you say over and over, and you know, it's, I do think it's a powerful thing, you know, you, you don't think about music like that, but you should think about it because, you know, in a religious way, but like monks, they, they repeat these things over and over, so music's power, kind of prayer, the same. Power, power, chance. So, yeah, wish fulfillment, like what you want to be, can be, if you, like, focus enough energy on it. Mm -hmm. And it starts with just you thinking about it, and then all the physical things that are follow, you know, follow a decision.
you're saying that when we die, maybe we'll come back as, or you thought we will come back as part of the universe. Uh -huh. And I was wondering if you could choose what part of the universe that you come back as. Uh, what would you be? <laughs> yeah. Not real blood. Um, I think of it more as like when I, I think of these words as like symbols for, for things. And like I think of blood being like like your true self or like kind of like if it's a very precious thing to you. Yeah. So, so I think of it as not real blood, but like other things. Yeah. What is Let Me Be Your Cigarette about? Question. I've always um, wondered. You know, I'm not really sure what it's about. You know, and that's there are quite a few songs that's like that. But I'm not sure. Was there a certain feeling toward? Like, was there like like an erotic song or it's like kind of just like I will do. I will take whatever you have. You know, if you have this agony, you know, mm -hmm. you can give it to me. Kind of you take anything, or from this person that I'm speaking to, you know, not just like from like the whole world, or you know, yeah. but, you know. But to me, I think of it when I look at that line. And that's how I look at all the lyrics. It's kind of like it's not what it really means. It's like what it means to me. Yeah. You know. So that is just kind of like an endearing, like I'll do anything for you kind of sentiment. You know, like it's almost a love song. Yeah. Okay. At that moment. You know, yeah. Cool. Uh, if you could be any other musician for a day, who would you want to be? Lead Belly. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah, why? I don't know. Yeah. He's like such a, I mean, I couldn't imagine being anybody else. Just it seems like, a, you know, it's a, it's a crazy idea for sure. But, you know, I just think his life was really crazy. You know, I, like walking down the road, a dirt road, it gets far, worrying about the police or whatever, that mm -hmm. want to lock them out. I mean, who, I mean, it could be anybody, but there's, I don't know why, I just love that like, Yeah. There's just like a mythic character, of like song, mm -hmm. uh, song man, you know, that, yeah, I don't know, just, uh, Do you have other musical role models or people that have inspired you to do what you're doing? Yeah, I mean, you know, John Lennon, of course. Um, I mean, there's so many. Um, Woody Guthrie, um, John Jacob Niles. I like a lot of people that are aware of like how important it is what they're doing. Mm -hmm. That are aware of like that they're the next link in the chain. That you know you can take songs from past generations and modify them for the future. And that's like a very um, good occupation. You know, it's a good thing to do. It's, mm -hmm. Like I think it's it's an important thing. Like it's kind of like sitting with your ancestors in some weird way, like playing these old songs. What happened to your previous band, Acid Bath? Uh, well, that was like the band that quit high school to play in and it was like and one of the guys got killed in a drunk driving accident. So that yeah. kinda ended that's what ended it for me. Um, wow. you know it's an important part of, of that high school you know, it wasn't you know, we all kinda wrote stuff together mm -hmm. at that time. And um yeah, he was just going to the store with his family, like around the mm -hmm. time with a drunk driver like oh my God. killed his, pretty much his whole family except his little brother survived. Oh my God. Yeah, so that kind of, for me, you know, other people would have like, oh, I just put somebody else in there and do whatever, but, I, you know, yeah. I really need to do something else, you know, and it wasn't just harping on that kind of strange phenomenon Yeah. goes on, lives on, you know, yeah. has its own life. What do you think about the current state of America? Do you think we're kind of a sinking ship, or 
Are you hopeful? Oh God, I don't. I'm very hopeful because I think more information is out there now for everyone to be informed. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't know anything, then of course, I mean, they. I believe our government's kept us in the dark for so long, and we've yeah. done so many horrific things around the world that you could look at it like it's all over and we're, you know, doomed. And to a degree, I think we are. Yeah. <laughs> but there's the good side, like we don't have to be that that occupying force of the world. We need to become okay with ourselves and like mm -hmm. learn how to like, you know, have you know food and energy for our own people and not be um, an empire yeah. where it's out there trying to have everyone's, you know, changing the world out there that, and not in the best way. I feel like it's good because now more people know things and we can change things in the future. You know, I don't think, I wouldn't equate like us being on top of the world with yeah. being the right thing. We don't need, yeah. you know, we just need to be okay and not, um, you know, not indiscriminately killing mm -hmm. civilians in other countries would be a good step in the right direction. Katrina especially was just such like a horrible example of not taking care of what's at home, but if there's a tsunami in another country, oh, let us send aid, let us get over there, let us do that, but it's the most horrible tragedy that happened here, like on our soil. And did you have a personal experience with that? Well, I wasn't there, but I was there like the days before, when we played like the weekend before, we played mm -hmm. there and you know, everyone was getting out. And we're kind of used to that kind of thing there. You know, there's always, storm coming or something so you know we almost stayed in the city for it you know but you know we didn't but yeah i mean i knew a lot of people that were affected really heavily and then the, the storm that came second rita uh flooded like where i actually lived and stuff at the time and took out the electricity for like at least a week or more um, wow. so we were just like in this place for quite a while yeah um it wasn't as bad as people in New Orleans who yeah. basically saw water rising and like, you know, were trying to like run away from water. It was like <laughs> covering up their homes. It was just a nightmarish. Uh, yeah. I heard the crime got a lot worse there since the storm. Well, I mean, there's that. I heard, I heard that right after. And I do think it was like right after, but now I think it's. It's more like people who really love that city yeah. live there. So when you go there, it's not just like people who just go. Oh, they're just there. It's like people. The majority of the people there seem to like have a real connection to the city. Mm -hmm. Like really love it. And I know why they do because it's you know like one of the most special cities in the United States. You have, it has a feeling there unlike any other place. So people love it. So I think it was real bad, but I think it's. I think it's cool now. I never had any problems there. I've always gone there ever since anything happened yeah. before. And I think it's just people kind of paranoid and mm -hmm. scared, you know. Because when you think just what happened there, I think scared people to death, you know. People yeah. firing, you know, firing on rescue helicopters. Yeah. Just insanity. And so much went, went crazy there with the police force and stuff. It's mm -hmm. pretty shameful. Yeah. Well, lastly, I guess I'd just ask, is there anything that you haven't accomplished with your music that would personally mean a lot to you? Um, you know, I don't really have like some goal, it's just, I just want it to be worthwhile to me each time. I guess I'd just like to be able to be creative. That's my only wish, and mm -hmm. that's that I can continue to be passionate about what I'm doing, and you know, that's my, my plan. You know, it's it's working. <laughs> People see that. <laughs> <laughs>